fallen warrior, neglected by the Valkyries. Another tortured soul. Come you hither to pay your respects to the great and brave King Lyrion. <laughs> I do not know such a man. He was betrayed and murdered by those who denied his friendship just as you deny him now. <coughs> Hold there! I'm not your enemy! Darkness must reign, and you must fade within it! You will be taken by a demon goddess! You will join my pile of bones! How can there be so many of you? has consumed you! No time for this.
time to finish this. That swamp woman looks like untamed. To know that she's wandering wild makes me. Sends a twisted Sado in the air. An unjust fate has befallen this one. I've seen such violence before. Unless you tempt me. Liar, liar, liar! You will join them, all the unkind dead! Now I open the scars of my heart! Seda, you sing troll! Breathe deeply! Watch as I become smoke! And listen as I break your bones! It's all. Another war begins. <laughs> Darkness fuels my rage. Spirit of my father's rage, fill me!
of this cackling and welching. Let rest your demons. Good day to you, Abe. Here you are, Hytham. The last of the Order's sigils. You will find King Alfred's among them. King Alfred? Did our poor fellow soldier lead you to his hiding place? He did, for they were one and the same. Our poor fellow soldier of Christ was the Grand Magister of the Order of the Ancients. He turned on his own order. Fascinating. Not turned so much as trampled. His devotion to Christ and what he calls a universal order set him against them from the start. With all sincerity, he loathed the title and the duty he had inherited and wished them destroyed. Wonderful. With his abdication, the last stronghold of the order has been dismantled. All that remain are scraps here and there. And you, Eivor. Now that you have seen our enemy and you understand our cause, I wonder if you would join us. Become a hidden one. Was this your ultimate goal, Hytham? A trial by fire? It is a kind offer, but... I do not believe we fight for quite the same cause. Your creed demands that you keep your triumphs hidden. I prefer my glory to be in plain view for all to see. If I taught you our creed, if you spent time with it, it could open your mind to another view. Another view is always welcome. 
But to live without celebrating one's glory and honor and achievements is not a life for me. But know this. I would give my life in a moment for those I love and who love me in return. All here. Including you, my friend. I understand you well, Eivor. Very well indeed. 